Good morning, Man 25 Gamers. In today's episode of Blitz of the Day, we're going to take a look at how to get two-way pressure uh, using the 46 normal defensive formation. Okay, in order to get two-way pressure out of the 46 normal, there's a couple of different aspects of which we could use. Um, the play that I'm going to show you guys today um, comes from the 46 normal rush outside. I believe it's the most effective way for getting two-way pressure at the quarterback because it's very simple to set up, very fast and efficient, and the person in the zone is your user control player. So rush outside is what we're going to be using today to get two-way pressure at the quarterback. Uh, we're just going to come out into a standard spread formation, something you may see in online gameplay. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to base a line, show blitz, spread your defensive line, and crash your defensive line to the left. And then all you need to do with this is grab onto Woods in here, use him in the A-gap like so, like we've been doing this whole throughout this whole 46 normal pressure stuff that we've been showing you this week, and you're going to get two-way pressure at the quarterback. Snap go, and here you see you get those uh, fast pressure. Now, real quick, what I want you to do, if you want to make this play a little bit more effective, is you can make one more adjustment. It's actually going to make this play very effective. Base line, show blitz, spread defensive line. Now, instead of crashing your defensive line to the left, all I want you to do is put Sims on a contain, quarterback contain, and then you're still going to use your Woodson in the A-gap. Now, what I like to do in the situation, you see that Ford is wide open, I'll quickly adjust and put Roach onto Ford, and now all I got to do is use her with Woodson on the running back. He's my only responsibility. So here you see, once again, pressure comes in pretty clean off both edges. Um, the time on the left, make sure you spread your defensive line. I apologize for forgetting to say that. Um, but again, it's just, it's all up to you. But... What I like to do is I'll either put him on a contain, re-blitz him, or I'll crash my line to the left and re-blitz the end. There's a lot of different variations in which you could run this blitz. It's really not that difficult uh, or uncommon, but there's just a lot of different ways you could do it. Here you see we get left edge and B gap pressure at the quarterback uh, really quick. That that setup will be in the description because uh, I think it's the most efficient to spread your defensive line, crash your defensive line to the left, Reboots your left of screen defensive end because we do that on the left edge pressure anyway, so it's a lot faster to set up. So real quick, um, remember that this defense is mainly meant to be used when you think your opponent's going to block a running back because if they block a running back when sending this pressure at the quarterback, you're still going to get that right B gap pressure at him no matter what. So again, set up very simple: base a line, show bliss. You don't even have to base line if you don't want to. Spread your defensive line, crash your D-line to the left, re-blitz your left of screen defensive end. Um, remember, there's some optional setups to that if you want to just contain Sims. But I personally like to re-blitz Houston, probably the most consistent in my opinion. And then you're just going to user control with Woodson, the one player that's not guarded on this play. So here the left guy is not guarded, so we're going to grab him with Woodson. And you see Terrell Pryor standing up with like five people on him. But again, the idea is this pressure is very quick, and it's going to spring two guys free at the quarterback instead of just one. Once again, as we look at this, an instant replay. Uh, pretty effective two-way pressure at the quarterback uh, for you guys to Madden 25. If you guys like these blitz of the days, be sure to leave a like rating below. And also, guys, if you have any questions, problems with the pressure, or just have some comments and feedback for me in general, please leave them in the comments below. I will try to get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you guys again for all your support and everything that you guys have done for me. Hopefully, this blitz of the day can be used to your benefit in Madden 25. Be sure to come back tomorrow where we break down A gap pressure from the 46 normal formation.